Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obita Potato. Welcome back to Infraspace. To what I suspect will be the last episode. That's right. Um, just, uh, just a hunch, but we're, we're getting through the research tech tree. Uh, before I forget, I'm really, really quickly gonna just double this road up to make it, uh, to make it travel in both directions. That's suspiciously inconvenient. Yeah, very inconvenient, actually. All right, I kind of hate doing that, but we'll leave we'll leave that there for now. Anyway, uh, this is kind of important because we've got a whole bunch of culture being output by these stadiums, and at the moment, it's really difficult for culture to get over here. So if we allow this route to be, uh, if we allow this route to be a thoroughfare, then hopefully we're going to be able to send culture along this highway. Anyway, let's check out the research. Let's see what's going on. Uh, we're working on recycling at the moment. We're going to work on iridium mining soon. Schools as well is required. Holo displays and the tech workshop. We need what? VR, ed VR edutainment and also schools. So VR edutainment is holo displays, which we require iridium mining for. And then we need schools. Plus, we're working on recycling to try and reduce our waste. What for? No idea. Absolutely none whatsoever. None whatsoever. Is that... Oh, I see. I've... Got a nasty little... Nasty, nasty little bit of road there. Cool. Alright. Park. Well, we should be able to get... Uh, we should be able to get all of the resources that we need over to here, and I don't think that I really foresee any problems with the delivery of some of the stuff in this area. Anyway, uh, I do want to get an additional power plant, and to be honest, I didn't realize until the very end of the last episode, but power produced scales with uh, efficiency for the nuclear power plant, which means that every singular adjacent... Every single adjacent one of these will give us a little bit of extra power. There we go. Look at that. That takes us up to... We'd had more before. How did we not get... What? Okay. Alright, don't understand how that happened. Anyway, the, the point of the matter is, is that it doesn't really matter how efficient things are. Because we're going to be able to get another one of these. And that's going to be... That's going to be just swell. There we go. Just as a backup. Wonderful. What level of efficiency do we have? 100% efficiency. And we've got nothing? Uh... Right. Don't understand how the efficiency bonus hasn't translated through there, but... That's, that's fine. Anyway, a uh, couple of things that we want to experiment with over the course of this episode. Uh, one, obviously, we're, we're looking to, to get everyone to the max level. I suspect this might be the last episode. Don't quote me on that, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we also probably want to work on neural processors because that is something that has consistently evaded my uh, ability to produce in quantity. We're still not, a, not anywhere, really, even near where we need to be. Even with 204% efficiency on a whole bunch of these things. Uh, the, the the issue really is, is that we just don't have enough neural processors. So we're going to try... We're going to try and tweak that ever so slightly. We're going to see if we can try and increase the number of neural processors that we have. And we're going to start producing some pretty advanced kit. That's the dream. Right, that needs to get shunted across to there. Needs to go in there. And that needs to go in there like so. Cool. Is this going to work? If it doesn't work, we can always kind of scooch everyone up. 
probably safer to do that. Uh, any joy here? Could scooch everyone up some more. Which I think is exactly what we're going to do. Nice. Alright. Uh, but yeah, we want to probably unlock super highways over the course of this episode. That's uh, something else that we want to do. We want to expand neural processors, which we're working on uh, immediately as a priority, as you can tell with your own two eyes. That's exactly what we're doing right now. Nice. Are we okay for carbon nanotubes? Not really. We've only got 2.28. As opposed to where we really need to be. Carbon as well. We need to be grabbing more of that. Still need a little bit more of the stuff. Cool. It's probably not a great idea to base this entire road network around, you know, just a normal two-lane road, but I guess that's to be to be debated. Uh yeah, these neural processor facilities, man, they are just they are just miserable. They are just miserable. I like this setup, by the way. I, I really, really do. 204% efficiency is, is very, very good. It just feels like it should be better. That's the really awful thing, right? Is that it feels like it should just be better. Alright, keep it, keep it coming. Uh, that's probably okay. Yeah, we just need... We just need more neural processors. And it's only neural processors that we're really struggling to... That we're really struggling to build. That's the... That's the frustrating thing. Uh, everything else, everything else working totally, totally fine. things together, just a smidgen more. Given a whole bunch of boosts to everything. And do we have enough chips? We do at the moment have enough chips. We'll no doubt run out of them soon. Oh, it was too good to be true. I knew it was too good to be true. A little, a little wiggle, a little, wi a little wiggle always makes it better. Okay, good, good, good. Nanotubes, 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 and right up the side there. Cool. Okay, that takes our, uh, that takes our. Uh, takes our neural processor factories into just a dodgy situation rather than a detrimental situation which is comfortable but not perfect how are we doing for microchip production barely okay barely 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 okay sand we need we need big sand so let's work on that Come on. Big sand. Okay, nice. Okay, still need a little bit of extra concrete, but uh, but we'll be there soon. There's probably a bottleneck up here. There is indeed. Bit of a 
bit of a pain, to be honest. Bit of a pain. There's a lot of copper that we require. A lot of copper, a lot of iron that really needs to just get shoved down this route here. And there is no real easy way to sort of stomach it. We're just going to have to wait for it to happen. And the most frustrating thing about all of this is that neural processor wise we're still not up to where we need to be. We are still not up to where we need to be. It's probably because I built so many yellow science pack factories towards the end of the last episode. I mean, look at this. This is, I mean, this is crazy. We've got 180 efficiency here. We're... We've got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of production. And still it's not enough. Right, maybe I just try adding... I mean, not random factories, because that's... That's daft, but let's... Have a look. See if that makes any difference. What do we need? Uh, 70 concrete? Yeah, we are in need of concrete. That is for sure. Cool. And let's keep going. Nice. Okay. Um, that's slightly better. Slightly better, but not actually much. Tell you what, actually building some microchip factories out here would be would be pretty good. Help with the microchip shortage that we're currently experiencing. Uh, I just have absolutely no idea why neural processor seems to be the thing that we are struggling to deal with. How's the tailback looking over here? Not bad, not bad. It's, it's fixing itself. Which is good. It's wonderful. I like this setup though. I like this setup. 212% efficiency. 212% efficiency, I think that must be a personal best. Slightly better than the 204 that I had. Or that I have, I should say, for the vast majority of this area. Yeah, it's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. This this highway is looking good. It's not a super highway yet, but it's it's not bad. Industrial robots we're still working on. Uh, we've got plenty of motors, which is great. This I didn't realize that there was a problem here, but apparently there is. It's now been rectified. How's our population looking? Three four two zero as. 3422 two, even, which means that we need another six houses, five or six houses. We don't need many. We don't need many at all uh, in order to take our population up to where it needs to be. Oh, goodness gracious me. And in fact, if we are able to fix this, we're able to fix this side, we'll probably be okay. Tell you what, the reason that we haven't been able to fix this side thus far is because we haven't one way fied that road yet. We fixed that, we're able to supply computers much more swiftly. That that makes a huge difference, actually. There we go, and that looks not terrible now. That's kind of a kind of a drag, but don't care. Don't care at all. So we're gonna get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 22, 22, 22 times 2, 22 times 2 is what, 44, we're gonna have 44 extra, extra people out of this area by my calculations, once we, once we take the population from 12 to 16 people per unit, so we probably still need a couple of extra units just to be on the safe side. That is, of course, if we want to have absolutely no margin for error, which is apparently what I am going for. And apparently we're going for no margin of error. Let's add some miscellaneous units around, around the place, shall we? Kind of hate it, but I also kind of dig it. 
Desperate isn't the right word. Nice. Desperate isn't the right word. I'm, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident that that's going to get us across the line. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We'll, we'll address. We'll address later. Cool. And we still need culture over here, but we should have culture in abundance. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Freaking... It's it's literally literally neural processors. That's the that's the darndest frustratingest thing. It's still neural processors. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of inclined to believe that I've actually just struck gold in this area here. And although it might not give us the greatest level of efficiency. It's got to get us pretty darn close, right? 204%. 204% efficiency from a fairly easily replicatable pattern. I mean, that's good. That's got to be good. And part of, you know, part of the ease is definitely... Or part of the, the attraction is definitely that it is uh, replicatable. That's for sure. Is there blue here? That was a misclick. Maybe give us a little bit more wiggle room here, please, video game. That'd be... That'd be cool. Nice. I think we should have enough concrete to make this happen. Nice, nice, and nice little road, do sand mines, do sand mines, then some more neural places. Some more sand mines. Less for supplying the sand, more for the 8% boost, I guess. Uh, that's not how we're going to do it. Could do it that way. But, I mean, we've stuck with it thus far. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Nice. And what do we need? More concrete? More concrete? It's it's gonna come. It's gonna come in time. Don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, you probably want to go at this side, I imagine, right? Yeah, I probably want to produce... Put the stuff down over, over there. Go from here to here. Beautiful. We're still producing concrete in fairly large quantities. In this area, still taking a little while to get into the construction material shop. Just the most frustrating thing out of all of this. The fact that you still cannot put a whole bunch of trucks in at the same time. Recycling center. Lowering your consumption of resources by processing industrial waste in nearby factories. Recycling center. Industrial waste. What does this do? Right. Lower your waste. Some of this building's industrial waste is recycle is recycled. Every six rounds, it gets all used resources back. So you're telling me, if I was to get recycling centers, basically all the way down here then that would be an incredible bonus? I say that. It wouldn't be an incredible bonus. But it does vastly reduce the amount of nanotubes that we'll need. Does that take... Does that take this into account? No, I don't think so. 
I don't think it I don't think it's taken into account in the production stats. It might be. I might be wrong about that, but we'll see. Cool. Alright, need more carbon. We'll get more carbon. Iron, we're gonna have to crank that back up to a hundred. Sand, we need more sand. We'll get sand. Population is erring ever closer towards towards where it needs to be. Which is good. And uh, carbon, carbon, carbon. Twenty concrete. Wow. Yeah, we ain't got we ain't got the concrete. We still don't have the concrete. Concrete factory one, two, three. We okay for sulfur here? We need another large sulfur mine. Oops. Forty-eight concrete. Uh, I will hold off until we have that. Then I will. connect up, but I'm going to connect up around the back in the vain attempt of making things work better. Alright, let's see if that let's see if that works. Let's see if that works any more smoothly. Should increase our concrete production a little bit. Maybe not a huge amount. Okay. Iridium mining or schools? Six and a half a dozen, to be honest. Schools takes schools takes a little longer. So we'll go for iridium mining. Given that a school is probably fairly easy to plonk down and just instantly start providing edumacation. Whereas iridium mining, you know, we're going to have to go through the whole setup of, you know, production chains and whatnot in order to, in order to get it working. Also, is there any way to increase the efficiency of, of carbon? If we plonk it down next to houses... Does like that have any measured effect? No, it, it doesn't. The carbon processors, I guess, just cannot be cannot be improved. That's fine. That is that is very, very okay with me. Are we better for neural processors now? Supposedly, yes. Right, more recycling centers? More recycling centers. Um, yeah, that'll do. That'll do for now. Incoming empty storage. What do we need? Nanotubes. We need nanotubes. That's what we need. And I bet you anything, the issue is a bottleneck up at the top here. Yeah, bit of an issue. Bit of an issue there. Do do that, do that. Yeah, connect this up here. Let's let's finish the pattern. Finish the pattern here. And we're actually gonna get one two three and four, if we can. Uh what do we need? 150 steel? Wow, we've actually run out of steel now. That's 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 novel. That's novel. But yeah, finishing the pattern there it seems seems fine for now. We can increase chip production out here. Point is is that we're gonna we're not gonna call it quits here, you know, far from it. We'll no doubt extend this at some point in the future, but for now it's good to sort of have an endpoint here so we can can muck around with it. Good news is we're fine for power. Very, very fine for power. 3502. Our population is gonna hit the target. It's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time now. Just a matter of time. Also, how are we doing in terms of steel? 
We are producing plenty of excess steel. It's just taking... Taking a while to get there. Any massive bottlenecks anywhere? How did I... Oh, I, I know what happened. The building got taller. That That's what happened. I didn't, I didn't realize that actually changed. I didn't realize that made a difference. Cool. Uh, fine. That probably had somewhat of a negative effect on everything temporarily. But truth be told, it doesn't look like it's been altogether too, too bad. Have we got any industrial robots, by the way? Like, I'm seriously questioning. Have we done any industrial robot production more neural processors i'm telling you that's that's what we need man if only they weren't required for yellow science packs <gasps> recycling centers recycling centers recycling centers uh this is kind of huge yeah this is absolutely monstrous it's comparatively cheap and uh I don't think it can I don't think it quite breaks the game. But like it's it's very very good. Soil enrichment facility. I still haven't I still haven't got that. Is there a is there a need to go back and get it supply fertilize uh, supply fertilized soil to nearby farms increase their output significantly. I don't really think there is to be honest. Super highways as well I need to go back and get but Again, not really not really feeling like I need to like I need to worry about that super heavily. All right, microchip production. Yep, that seems to have increased. So maybe the maybe the the in-game calculator does take does take the recycling center into account. Be good if true. Okay, and... Okay. Nice. How is that not a road connection? I am confused. That's a road connection. My confusion is alleviated. Right, a few more microchips around here. Again, with efficiency bonuses. Always nice. Hopefully gonna make a little difference. Carbon's still a little bit low. Sand's a little bit low. Ah, uh, you know what? Is there a... Not even an issue there. Cool. Right, we'll see if we'll see if that makes any difference. Probably will. Punted into two times speed might get a little choppy temporarily, but we will endure for the sake of making a little progress. Let's get some sand mines here, and we also need to think about another uranium mine setup and reactor so let's have a little look at this blue science plenty green science not enough yeah so the the game is telling me that we need some green science packs over here we've got plenty of neural processors now ha 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 very funny we now don't have enough green science i did expand green science a couple of episodes ago it was a fairly long time now that i think about it though Sulfur and blue science. Yeah, I mean, there is a great place to make. Oh, it's so choppy. Uh, there is a great place to make uh, to make green science, and it's actually out here. Don't want to place down too many, otherwise we're gonna have a little bit of pressure on the the neural setup. Uh, sulfur. Let's get. 
Let's get a one-way. That doesn't even necessarily need to be a one-way route. There we go. Okay, so sulfur is technically connected into the network now. Slow things down to one time speed so that we can actually see what the heck is going on. Uh, this is a really, really, really big bad tailback that we probably need to fix. I'm going to take a little offshoot here. It would be so much nicer if I had the patience and the time to make this road curvy. I do not. I guess I can kind of, I can click on, there we go, I can click on these bits. Make that curvy. I can make it curvy retroactively, I suppose. It's kind of nice. Nice, there we go. Look at that, I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay, so if that fixes things, that's that's wonderful. It's great. Let's create a little bypass route over there. It should also probably be curvy, if it can be. Uh, what are a lot of these trucks? They're blue trucks. It's kind of difficult to identify exactly what the heck blue trucks are for, what the heck they, they do. I mean, the carbon doesn't really need to be here. I, I mean, I feel like if this is a one-way road entrance, then that would be quite helpful. The only the only problem is that if that's going to be if that's going to be the entrance, then we kind of need to have a, an exit point for the for the road. Okay, you know what? This is what we're going to do. That goes there. Beautiful. And... That goes in there like so. Okay, that may look like an obscene thing to do. But what we're now going to do is we're going to say, Hey, video game, this is going to be one-way road. And it's going to be reversed in that direction. So we're only going to allow trucks in. Make sure that this route flows smoothly. Shouldn't really have any issues getting around here. Should be okay. Uh, we should see. We should see some use. We should see some use of this route in the other direction, but most of it should just be leaving traffic. I hope. All right, tailback has disappeared. Tailback is still here. That's fine. This iron area is a little bit of a little bit of a mess. This was kind of on the agenda to fix for a wee while now, but there we go. Fix that. Nice. Okay. Good. We've maybe created a few more problems for ourselves later down the line, but as far as I'm concerned, as long as we're sort of splitting up the traffic flow, that's that's a little bit better. Doesn't really look like this big motorway thing is being used. Kind of to be expected, to be honest, if you think about the fact that... If you think about the fact that there's this little on-ramp here... Now, that little on-ramp could do with being upgraded to a slightly larger 
slightly larger, bigger and better. Bigger and better setup. Let's go over here. Delete that and set that up like so. So we've got two, two methods of going straight ahead. You know what? I'm going to delete that there. And I'm going to say... Delete that there. This can turn in there. And this can turn in there like so. Nice. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's a little it's a little better. It's a little better. Definitely looks like the tailbacks are uh, are improving. Also looks like this highway maybe get a little bit more use. No, wishful, wishful thinking, almost certainly. Production numbers, production numbers look good. Production numbers look grand. Uh, we do, however, need to get a little bit of extra carbon. And to be honest, we need to get another nuclear reactor as well. Yeah. How are we doing in terms of uranium production? It says we're not doing great, but I mean, by the evidence... You can see that we're actually doing okay. By evidence, I mean we, we have plenty of uranium in the reactors. Nice. Okay, we've restored an 8% efficiency increase to both of these facilities. I have absolutely no idea what I've done to, to get this. I've... Now, increase the efficiency to 132. I'm going to just move all of these. That's returned. Okay, that's great. Now we got 156% efficiency at one and 132% at the other. That's given us an extra like, bajillion power for basically nothing. Uh, let's get two uranium, two large uranium mines in here, in fact. Nice. I have no idea how the road doofed up the production area and then fixed the production area. That's fine. Doesn't matter. That's great. Okay. Uh, right. We're still managing uranium. We're drawing even on uh, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is not the resource. It is, in fact, just carbon. Just carbon. I'm looking for this. That's what I'm looking for. Carbon processor. And... Boop. Nice. Okay. That'll fix carbon. Uranium is basically fixed, which is great. Uh, we've got green science on the go as well, which is looking particularly swell. I think that's going to give us... I hope that's going to give us what we need. Okay. I messed something up, but then I fixed it, which is grand. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, I don't think that we've got any traffic problems. I don't want to speak too soon before having a full and comprehensive look at the network. But I don't see any traffic problems. Uh, 65% industrial automation. 68% industrial robot. Okay, does it just... What happens? I guess the number of jobs that we're going to see just reduces? Industrial robot. Automation reduces your workforce requirements by one worker. 100%. So... Yeah, I have absolutely no idea how that works. Absolutely no idea. Don't even want to pretend to, to know. The jobs, the jobs number is ticking down. The jobs number is ticking down. That's about as, it's about as far as my smooth brain can can understand. Right? Is everyone in this city, level five citizen? No. We're missing a couple. Why? Computers. Computers. Are are, are a no go. In fact, I don't think that we have enough computers. Hey, we need to get more computers. Is 
there anything around here that would maybe maybe work? That's not bad. Just kind of hoping to maybe squeeze something in here. There we go. Okay, two extra computer places. I uh, don't think that it's going to push anything uh, over the top, but it should just give us should just give us the extra little production boost that we need to to, to keep keep the supply constant, which is quite important. Right, looks like all of the random little houses that I've built fulfill the additional needs to upgrade. Uh, the additional needs are culture. Uh, hey, iridium mine and iridium alloy factory. Let's have a little look. Hollow displays, I think, is what it is, right? AI control units. AI control unit factory. Red science factory. Colossal adamantite drill. Iridium propellant. See, I think that we're getting into the territory of this stuff exists in the game, but doesn't actually matter in terms of anything concrete that the developers have, have done with it yet. Okay, one more stadium, maybe? Yeah, that might help. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. What was I going to say? I don't think that we're... I don't think that we need to worry about that. Iridium Alloy Factory, Radiation Core. I mean, what, what do we do with the Radiation Core? High-tech workshop. Iridium propellant. AI control units. It's not very useful. Ah, oh, apart from Red Science. Which is probably... Well, I know it's not very useful. There you go. Cool. Yeah, uh, it's not very useful. Red Science, Red Science is... Uh, it, it's pretty useless, I would suggest. Iridium, I mean, we can't even... Oh, these freaking nanotubes. Nanotubes everywhere. Radiation core. I guess we could start production on them right now, but hardly seems worth it. Uh, the hollow displays. The hollow displays really will be what we need. So we don't need the high-tech workshop, right? We just need the VR edu edutainment. Unless we require the high-tech workshop for schools? Surely not. Schools just produce knowledge or they produce, they produce schools. Schools produce school. So it means that all we really need to do to complete the game, technically if we were to, you know, level everyone up to max, we need to get the VR edutainment factory, which requires, oh my goodness, more neural freaking processors. Fine. And that's it. That's absolutely it. Yeah. Disappointing how little we need to do with the whole meal prepping stuff. Same with parks, actually. It's it's pretty disappointing. Also, I'm honestly super shocked that the traffic isn't way worse. Like, I was really, really, really anticipating some pretty bad traffic. And we've had, you know, we've had a couple of bust-ups. Don't get me wrong, we've had a, a couple of bust-ups with, the, bust with the, the traffic authorities. But at the moment, when things are supposed to be at their most spicy... I don't think we've got any cues. I mean, the tailbacks, the tailbacks here don't count. This, is, this does, this doesn't count as far as I'm concerned. This is, this doesn't count. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn this into a one-way road. And turn that into a one-way road. That might just make all the difference. Yeah, increase our rate of concrete production a little bit, eh? Who knows? Might make no difference whatsoever. You know what my biggest... This is gonna... This is gonna annoy... Well, it's gonna annoy me saying it. I think, to be honest, the fact that I've just built roads kind of everywhere... 
kind of without any, you know, sort of rigid grid structure has actually been beneficial because it means that most of the most of the traffic is taking a I feel like a pretty organic route to get to to get to where it needs to go. I mean, this big old bypass, for example, maybe not super useful, but it I mean, it reduces traffic on like 90% of the road network. That's quite impressive. That is quite impressive. It's a pretty pretty big impact construction, if you think about it. It did cost a lot, though. Well, I say it cost a lot. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter even slightly. Right, large iridium drill, uh, which is still absolutely useless. Can we find a little slot for this in here? More culture. More culture. Uh, right. We need, presumably, more yellow science, I imagine. Yes, we need much more yellow science. Are we recycling everything? We should be. Let's recycle more if we're not recycling stuff already. We're recycling all that. Industrial waste recycling. Yep. It's all of its resources back. Uh, yeah, can we... Can we find a... Can we find a place for anything else? For any of these other recycling centers? I mean, we totally can. I don't know why I'm pretending that we... That we can't. That was... That was a disastrously placed bit of... Bit of factory. Right, I'll worry about that in just a second. Hold on. Kind of thought that would connect up to the road, to be honest. There we go. Now it's connected. Uh, this. How, how has this become? How has this become an issue? I have absolutely no idea why... Why that's a concern. Why now of all times would it become an issue? Not really that too not, not really too sure about that one. Okay, back to fixing this problem here. Sure, just uh Why? Why? God, that's frustrating. Sure. All right, good. That's that's okay then. So, on the hunt to place more recycling centers. Anything else? Don't think so. Uh, what's the overlay? What's the overlay that that's using? That that's using building efficiency. I mean, we must be pretty. Must be pretty high. Pretty much everywhere. It doesn't look. It doesn't look like it shows efficiency above a hundred percent. It just says everything is green. Recycling centers. That's the overlay that we really care about. Buildings with industrial robots. Oh, I see. We're slowly but surely building all of these industrial robots up. That's cool. Uh, roads, that's a very nice overlay. Cars, that's a totally useless overlay. Soil enrichment facilities. Uh, oh, does the vegetable farm... Does it, like, degrade? Buildings with high-tech tools. Ah, high-tech tools. Yeah, so what does that do? What do high-tech tools do? Supply factories with high-tech tools to raise productivity? Maybe that's what we want after hollow displays, to be honest. Maybe that is exactly what we need. Uh, recycling centers is the big one, though. 
I do feel like that is an appropriately sort of like overpowered late game tech. Feels pretty powerful. Anything else that we need to sort of produce, plonk down anywhere? Yeah, we'll get that. Get that down there. Good stuff. Good stuff. And... Is that connected to the road? No. Did kind of look like it for a little bit. Wow, marvelous. I don't think that the recycling center needs to be... I, I don't think it needs to be connected for any particular reason. I don't think that any trucks go in and or out of it. But I might be wrong about that. I'll keep an eye out, see if there's... See if there's anything that we need to be on the lookout for. Right, wow, that's that's brilliant. So I, I I just hope that we are I hope that we're good. Industrial waste recycling gets all used resources back. I presume that means it gets one round of resources back rather than rather than uh, gets all of its resources back. I, I have to assume I have to assume that that's the case. Otherwise, that would be too broken. It's pretty pretty good as it is, though. This is a nice setup. This is a nice setup. Man, it just kind of feels... It just kind of flipping feels like... Uh, like it's just taking ages to make, to make science. And there's no way to increase the speed. I mean, maybe that's what high-tech tools is going to do. Increase the speed. Or increase the time. Uh, or decrease the time that it takes to make something. Because that's the only thing that's really holding us back at the moment. It's that it's that freaking VR VR headset dealio. Uh, 156% efficiency. I mean, that's still pretty still pretty good, but I mean, it's not not really anywhere as good as it should be or it needs to be. I'll get like a few more which is going to throw the whole production chain out of whack. We need more motors and we need more neural engines because of course we do. Because of course we do. I I have a funny feeling that neural engines or neural processor things I have a feeling they'll be nerfed. Or should I say buffed relative to how annoying they are to deal with at the moment. Nice. We're fine for motors again. We're fine for motors again. That's good. Yeah. Maybe yellow science needs a needs a slight nerf or or a slight a slight buff relative to the player, I guess. Anyway, yellow science maybe needs to be easier to make and uh, neural processors kind of need to be kind of need to be made a little bit little bit less a little bit less pernickety or maybe the research tech tree needs to be needs to be changed so that you can actually start work on iridium uh, iridium stuff with a few less yellow science packs right we're so close to having 3500 level f 5 citizens there's just but a few houses remaining that don't have what they need. It's still these ones down here. How on earth? Habitat upgrading in a couple of seconds. It's still computers. That's surprised me at the length of time that it's taken to... Surprised me the length of time that it's taken for us to actually get computers good. Oh well. Holo displays 61%. Very frustrating that we're not able to. That we're 
were not able to make it happen at a, at a, at a faster rate. I am deeply frustrated. Deeply frustrated that we can't boost the efficiency. I suppose we could kind of boost the efficiency of some of these some of these yellow facilities a little bit more. We could sort of clear out I mean this thing in particular. Maybe move you into the fray here. What does that give us? 120% efficiency. Oh, we don't even utilize... We don't even utilize uh, neural processors. I mean, the other alternative is that we could... Build it here. Put some yellow science factories down in this vicinity. What does that take us up to? Efficiency wise. Still not perfect actually. 172? It's better. To be honest, I'm actually thinking that that's maybe far and away a better decision. Uh, let's... move this okay recycling center needs to get moved fine cannot believe that I didn't think about this before Definitely works better. Is going to put a little bit of extra strain on the whole setup and the whole... The whole supply chain. But, I mean, come on. It's way better. Yeah, okay, maybe we... Maybe we leave that over there. Leave that over there for now. In fact, stick it over here. Yeah, so that's still pretty. That's still pretty decent. Yeah, there's still, you know, like four. Four suppliers over there. Okay, what does that take us to? Ninety-five percent. That's pretty good. We're up to one hundred sixty-four percent efficiency. That's good. That's really, really good. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Still frustrating, but better than nothing. Also, the other thing to keep in mind. Do these machines actually have to be running to provide the efficiency bonuses? Or could they just be switched off? Hey, we did it. Curvy roads. Nice. Okay. Uh, VR edutainment hollow display factory. So, VR edutainment hollow display factory. So, what do we need for people? VR edutainment. That's it. Uh, and also, schools. Schools is a big. Schools is a big leap. Super highways is the last big leap. Let's go schools. Let's just get it done. Gives us an opportunity to get VR edutainment. Let's take it down to one time speed. Chips. Neural. Chips, neural, the whole shebang. Right, let's give this give this setup a little a little try. Uh, K 
kind of don't love that. Right. I mean, this is a bit of a this is a bit of an awkward a bit of an awkward area for it. Uh, no doubt. Yep, we're going to be adding neural processors pretty much instantaneously. Because of course we are, because we always need more of these things. Okay, and then one more in there. Let's let's try and be selective uh, about where we put these things. Because I think... Yeah, we'll be able to make him. We'll be able to make him fairly rapidly. It's just a question about neural processor supply, really. Uh, which is not good. Not good at all. Microchips are less good... Motors are still fine. Copper's okay. Nanotubes are iffy, but but okay. They're holding. Jobs are looking okay. Can I have a little look at? Uh, can I have a little look at the job stats, please? City stats, jobs. Yeah, jobs were definitely falling there for a for a for a bit. It's kind of nice. Immigration. Yeah, population. Has always increased apart from a tiny little spike a long time ago. Yeah, so this is looking this is looking real good. This is looking real real good. That's no doubt gonna start the delivery of exactly what we need. Also, that is kinda strange that that's Decided to level up and start causing issues, but that's okay. We can we can fix that relatively easily. How are we doing? How are we doing in terms of industrial automation? It's sort of spreading out from the center. I don't really think that it matters at all where we have. Uh, industrial automation. Like it's it's fine kind of wherever. Outgoing storage is full. Oh, these are not being used. There we go. Uh, that's gonna immediately turn back back on the taps, I guess. Bit surprising that. That kind of broke down, and I didn't see it for a long time. I say that's surprising. It's not surprising at all. Uh, frustrating is, I think, the, the term that I'm looking for. But once the once the storage is emptied, I'm pretty convinced. I'm pretty convinced things are going to get back to normal here. Or, alternatively, we could maybe just be stuck with a monstrous traffic jam forever. Because of this one little bit of road. Wow, that would be... That would be kind of miserable. That would be kind of, kind of miserable. You know what I want to do? Hold on. Let's go up here. Up here. And punt this down a little bit. You know what? Just ditch, just ditch that. That's fine. Uh, the whole point of this exercise was to try and give traffic a route to flow to this side of the the area the 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 operations area rather than going through this sort of central choke point cool right how are we doing for vr edutainment if 
very good. In fact, we've got like three times as much as what we actually need. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should scale it down, actually. Yeah, scale it down so we actually place less of a demand on our neural processors. Don't think it's going to make a slight bit of difference. Because we still need way more of them. Yep. Wow. Neural processors. To make yellow science, it, it, it really is. It really is miserable, isn't it? I mean, we could turn down yellow science, to be honest, and that would have a correspondingly good effect on the neural processors. It would also be nice if we could kind of overclock, maybe at the expense of a little bit of productivity. But I feel like overclocking would still be cool nonetheless. We okay for copper? Probably do with a bit more copper. Uh, yep. Good. Good, good, good. I can't believe that we've built all of this and still the neural processors that we are, uh, that we're working with are worthless. We just have so few of them. We just have so few of them. Everything else here is easy. Uranium is lying to me. We, we, we're fine for uranium. Uh, nanotubes, yeah, we're pretty much, pretty much bang on even there. Uh, motors, not worried. Super easy to fix. Neural processors, huge pain. <laughs> huge pain. Huge, huge, huge pain. Maybe there's a super secret blueprint that I need to that I need to have a look at. Maybe there is a maybe there's a super interesting way that I can go about getting that up and running. Where are we at? Researching schools. Hmm, okay. We okay for electronics? We're basically breaking even for electronics, that's the thing. Nanotubes require carbon, and carbon we're also kind of breaking even for. Uh, let's do a bunch of extra nanotubes here. We're going to run out of sand, no doubt, as well. 200 steel. Wow. Okay. Cool, we're out of steel, I guess. And then we'll maybe try and get some of these. I'll fix it, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Nice, and whoops, a daisy, bendy. Bendy. I like how you can do that. That's very, very cool. Right, 150 steel a pop. That's a fair amount of steel. Point is, I'm going to try. I'm going to try getting a few more neural processors. Uh, it's, a, it's a totally, totally wasted endeavor because we need more of basically just every single piece of the process. We need more microchips. We need more everything. Uh, I'll get more microchips here. 19,000 concrete, by the way. Could say we're doing all right for concrete. Okay, sand is also now a problem. Cool. Always something, remember, always something. What do we need? Large sand mine. Yeah, I will get. We'll get some more large sand mines here. Nice. 
Okay, that keeps us that keeps us positive with regards to sand, which is great. Researching schools, we're at fifty nine percent. That's grand. No real bottleneck here. It's all fine. Pretty much just looking for those extra sweet, sweet neural processors, which we will be able to get every time our steel storage supply hits hits 50. You know what? We should really... I know it's less efficient, but... Regular sand mines. Let's, let's get smaller sand mines in here. I forgot that they fed into fed into neural processors. How could I? I? I don't know. I've built so many so many of the freaking things recently. Okay. Yeah. Uh, steel is... Steel's taken a fairly long time to, to assemble. I, I wonder if something's happened. I wonder if something's happened to steel. Not really. We're just working at 100% efficiency. If I moved carbon... If I moved carbon... Uh, carbon production over here, we could probably increase the efficiency of the steel mills if I wanted to, but again, hardly seems super worth it. Given the fact that we are in the end game now, and our steel is our steel is fine. What's that? What level of production efficiency do we have here? 180 is pretty good. Pretty good. 0 0.84. <laughs> it's just remarkable. It's just absolutely remarkable. 68%. We're 68% of the way there to s towards schools. That's good. It's not like I can even tone down anything, really. No, we're just sort of committed to neural process for yellow science bags. It takes freaking six of them. I mean, six? My goodness gracious me. That is such a lot of... such a lot of stuff. VR edutainment has been... I don't want to say fully rolled out, but it has been rolled out such to the extent that we're... with a, with a manufacturing base of two people, we're managing to supply to, to everywhere. Uh, or we should be managing to supply to everywhere. Uh, what's that? Good meal? Good soup? Uh, yeah, I mean... There's definitely enough good meals to go around, right? Ooh, barely. Barely, barely, barely. Meal factories. Wanna get one more, maybe? Just for... Just for good measure? Cool. Uh, I know that there's stuff that we can fap around when, uh, with with regards to soil enrichment, but I, I don't really feel compelled to do that at all. I just feel compelled to make sure that we are producing the correct number of good meals. Have we got a full housing situation? Not quite yet. There is only low enthusiasm to move in, though. Just wait until I stick down to school. Everyone is going to go absolutely crazy. And start saving my resources for uh, for schools. We need a little bit more... A little bit more steel, in fact. Let's maybe... Let's maybe get some more steel mills. Puts another strain on carbon, but to be honest... strain on carbon is not the end of the world. Gives us an opportunity to bring some carbon production over here. Yeah, just throwing it down now, really, just to just to clear the way. Clear the way for schools. 
87%. Oh my goodness, come on. Come on. Uh, recycling centers uh, recycling centers better be better be doing what they're supposed to be doing. Otherwise I've been swizzled out of a, a whole bunch of resources. Oh, this is looking perfect though. This is looking absolutely perfect. Not a single issue. <laughs> he says. As he comes across uh, an area that requires quite a lot of sand. Uh, also, th this road isn't connected to anything. So, I wouldn't be surprised if there were issues here. That's a bit ridiculous. Okay, yeah, that, that, that one's on me. You know, I'll, I'll... I'll take that one. I'll take the hit on that one. There we go. That's, that's fine. Cool. Right, I know that I said I was saving for schools. I think that I am going to save for schools, to be honest. That seems like the prudent thing to do. So, immediately once we have the tech, we'll be able to start placing down. We can probably place down about 9 or 10 schools. We are kind of out of space, though. What about up here? Yeah, okay, well... Prep this. And we will build... Build the schools out this way, I guess. This is one of the only areas that we have free. More uranium ore up there. Probably not going to use that anytime soon. 99%. Ever closer. Ever closer. Uh, hey, we did it. Brilliant. Okay. Let's immediately jump into high-tech workshops because... Let's be frank. If it can improve... Oh, these are tiny. How on earth is that colliding with anything? I'm just gonna hope that hope that that's enough. There we go. Schools are on the go. Right, how are we doing for schools? We need to basically double the number of schools that we've got. Okay. Didn't think that it would quite be that bad. Uh, I, 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 there's not even a way that we can increase the efficiency, is there? Not particularly. The good news is, is that it is a, it is an easy fix. Oh boy, it's busy. It is busy. Yeah, it's real busy. Tailbacks kind of starting to have an impact here. There we go. Feed into both lanes there. I kind of have this idea where I should go around and down and then turn this into a one-way road is that stupid it might be stupid yeah okay it might be stupid might be the greatest idea in the history of humankind Probably the latter, to be honest. Probably the latter. Habitat upgraded. Hey, hey, our first one has happened. Luxury residential high rise. Very cool. 64 out of 3,500 citizens have, have got what they need, apparently. That's great. Uh, still don't have enough schools, but 
that's fine. Right, where does that take us? Where does that take us? Close, closer. Very, very close, in fact. We're seeing a lot of upgrades happening. Lots of habitats are, are queued to upgrades. Beautiful. Don't love the fact that there's a pretty monstrous traffic jam here. Anything that I can do to speed this speed this up? Maybe that. Ditch that straight ahead. Yeah, this is This is as good as it gets, I suppose. No, hold on. There we go. Okay. I think I I think I, I cracked it. I think I cracked it. Straight ahead there. I'll go straight ahead there. This, yep, yeah, straight ahead at every every corner. That's good. Yep, we're gonna keep a lane exclusively for left turning traffic from this area. Yeah, that's fine. I I suspect I suspect that, that will be cleaned up. Very, very shortly, in fact. Let's go straight, and let's bump that over there. Nice. Let's make the same changes over here as well. To ensure consistency. Good stuff. And then the rest of this doesn't, that doesn't really matter. I mean, most of the most of the issues have been resolved accordingly. Where are we at? Six hundred and six out of three thousand five hundred. We're close. We're close. Good meals are in demand, apparently. Not sure why, but not sure why, given that we discussed and dealt with the good meal problem. We should have plenty of good meals. It's probably just a just a supply issue that we're that we're having to deal with. The fact that it's taking too long to deliver all of the good meals and the habitats are being downgraded. Habitat upgraded, habitat upgraded. It's sort of happening left to right. As you can see there. And a few more schools, and we should be fine. Build as many schools as the amount of steel that we have will allow. That's got to be good enough. Not quite, but very, very close. One more, and we'll pretty much be there. We just need 90 steel. We've got 30,000 concrete. That's probably enough concrete. Right. Still don't know why we periodically get issues with uh, housing placement. I feel like that shouldn't really be the case. 3,500. We're a third of the way there. We're only at an hour and 25 minutes. But that's... But that's okay. In the pursuit of excellence, I can... I can just about tolerate that. Okay. Uh, yellow science. Let's reduce the amount of yellow science. Let's increase the amount of vegetainment. Turn that back up to 100. And we'll increase yellow science production accordingly. Uh, I mean, at this rate, I'm not super bothered about... I'm not super bothered about any other tech, to be honest. Uh, High-tech workshop would be good to see. Fast neutron react. I mean, that's just going to give us more power. Propellant doesn't do anything. AI control units, I don't think does anything. Red science doesn't do anything. 
Adamantine Drill. I mean, that's here. Maybe that's worth it. It could be. It could be worth it. I mean, let me know in the comments down below if it is actually worth getting the uh, the adamantine drill. I don't think it's worth it. The reason that I don't think that it's worth it is because if we look in the roadmap here, uh, you can see that there is a large endgame project that is currently on the list here. You can see what I voted for uh, to, to see added next. I think that's a very, very cool feature. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think the drill kind of might be the stand-in endgame project. That's just my that's just my suspicion. That's just my suspicion. So I feel like a natural endpoint would be uh, would be would be leveling the, the you know the the natural the natural endpoint is leveling the the city up to planetary capital. But if there is more if there is more stuff that would be good to explore in the late end game, let me know. I'll check it out. Get some good meals here, please. Thank you. People are moving in. Everyone is moving in. That is great. School habitat is full. I mean, at this point, to be honest, it's all just happening. It's all just happening. It's all just working. Loads and loads of habitats are being upgraded. Uh, I could get some more schools to sort of help things along. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Another housing issue. Oh my goodness. Why on earth? Why on earth is this a problem? I mean, it looks fine. The footprint looks... The footprint looks okay. Indeed, it is okay. So, what is the concern? There we go. Upgraded. Brilliant. Just in the nick of time as well. Alright, 1,500. We're getting there. We're getting there. We are in a good place. We're in a good place. Most of the habitats have what they need, or at least have some of what they need. I tell you what, most of them have edutainment. It's just school that they don't have. So I'm going to keep on pumping up the number of schools that we have, and eventually we're, we're going to be in this uh, crazy position where we have just far too much education. You can never have too much education. There's a moral of the story in there somewhere. Okay, good, and also, ever since getting the nuclear reactor, I haven't needed power at all, actually. Not at all. Looks like that aluminium mine has accidentally been left out in the cold. We'll fix that. Nice, easy fix. Habitat upgraded, habitat upgraded. Wouldn't be surprised if we're almost to 2,000 at this point. Yeah, very close, in fact. Very, very, very close. You know what? Here's another sneaky little... Sneaky little thing that I'm going to do. Really? Really? It's just... You don't like... Okay, alright, whatever. <laughs> doesn't want it. Doesn't want it. Doesn't want to look good. That's okay. Anyway, uh, there's going to be an opportunity to skip over. There's going to be an opportunity to skip over all of this, uh, this section of traffic and just go direct that's something that is required or wanted might not be but it's uh, it's definitely it's definitely an option 
All right, where are we at? 2,400. Wowzers, we're getting there. The good news is, is that it seems to be, the, the, the way that the sort of traffic flows naturally, it seems to be prioritizing, seems to be prioritizing the school traffic, which is quite, quite good, in fact. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a route here for the school traffic to go if it wants to drop off, wants to drop off uh, school vibes in these residential high rises. That's fine. Yep, that is cool. Right, 2,600. We are 900 population away from where we need to be. Even less now. It's falling every every moment. How's this? This hasn't been adjusted to deal with the new reality of the situation. You gotta be you gotta be in the right lane if you want to turn in right. That's how we operate here. Oh, 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 oh. A, a thing. There we go. There was a way there. There we go. Perfect. Oh, wow, this is this is so great. This is so great. It's actually it's actually working. It's actually working properly. Habitat is upgrading. Habitat is upgrading. I mean, all of these places are upgrading and causing me problems. Oh goodness gracious me! How is that? Is it possible? How, how is it also, like... How is it possible that it just doesn't fit? Like, the the, sh the size of the, the, the plot must change. Less than 300... 300 people to go? I just saw four habitats upgrade there. A fifth over there. I mean, this area hasn't... It, I guess it kind of has started to upgrade, but it's not really started too fully to start upgrading. Less than 200, almost to 150 there. So that's good. I tell you what, getting a head start in the v, the VR edutainment was a really, really, really great idea. Really allowed us to, to hit our to hit our stride for sure. Lots of school buses coming down this route. That's fine. It's mostly... Mostly clearing pretty pretty darn quick. Less than a hundred. Less than a hundred people to go. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Exhilarating. Truly exhilarating. Edge of the seat stuff here, folks. Upgrading in 12 seconds. Not quite ready yet. Not quite ready yet. Four seconds. Less than 30 people. 35 people. That's great. And the other thing to bear in mind is that every time a, a, a place upgrades and it increases the uh, the population by two, that actually... Oh, two more people to move in. There we go. You, le you reach level six. You've unlocked new technologies to research. Indeed we have. AI control units. As I say, I have absolutely no idea what that is, what that is for. AI control units. I, I, I just... I still... I don't know. I don't know. Like, it, it's, it highlights... The tech workshop, for example, it highlights in the uh, in the in the tech supplier factories with high tech tools to raise productivity. That would be good to check out, but I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry about it. Red science and adamantite mining might be interesting to check out, but I don't know. I'll I'll take your I'll take your guidance on it. I'll take your guidance on it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me know if you want to see one final episode of uh, of pushing towards. Pushing towards red science, I guess. Uh, I don't really, I don't really think that there's there's much more to explore. Uh, this is a great game, really, really good game. And the reason why I feel okay dipping out now, rather than you know fighting on out to the to the bitter end, is that I know, I know for a fact that I'm going to be coming back to this game many, 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 many times in the future, uh, because it is just that good. It is just that good, and it just feels so good to build a factory. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be checking it out pretty much every update that drops, I imagine, because I'm just that interested. Uh, for now, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap it up here. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. 
Thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you as ever to the fantastic Patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash over potato. It's banana and Aurelio from the 225 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.